behind me, I'm going to show you how you can use a couple of free tools to start your podcast and AI tools that you can use to mark your podcast for free. So if you don't know where to start to build your podcast, this video is for you. Okay, so the first platform that you want to use is Zencaster. Now, Zencaster is really a cheap and easy way to get into podcasting. And why is it cheap? Well, let me hit Let's Podcast and see what happens. So you've got a free option. You've also got to create a plus option and then a professional and growth option. Now, I'm personally using the create a plus option, uh, which you have to apply for, but the free option, you get two hours of audio and video recording each month. Why is that really good is because you can do an episode a week that's 30 minutes and you can have an episode a week for the free version. So what you're going to do is just hit start now. Sign up to your account. In this case, I already have an account. Now, this is your first look. You're going to see here podcast analytics and monetize. Now, Zencaster has a great monetize option, but for now, we want to focus on just getting the podcast started. We can talk about monetization in the future. You want to head over to the new in the top right corner and hit new show. I'm going to go ahead and fill these out and then come back to you. Upload your cover image, your show title, your description, and then create the show. So I've just filled it out with a basic premise of my own show, current uh, current show, What Makes You Happy. And then I'm going to hit Create Show. So now what you'll see is your reach, plays, episodes, etc. If you want to know how to reach more people, you can just click on the reach feature and then start following the prompts to connect yourself to all the other platforms. You're then going to create your first episode. Now Zencast is really good because you can invite people to meet you in a virtual recording space. So you can do that when you hit the record episode here or you can upload something you've pre-recorded. But for today's episode, we'll show you the record episode function. So just name it episode one, and you have the option of having the transcriptions, the video uh, and audio only, or removing video and just having audio and transcriptions. For the sake of it, we're gonna have video and audio. Make sure you allow use of your camera and your microphone in the top left corner when prompted. Now, because I'm using my camera, just pretend that this is the camera, but you'll get your full camera here. You get your chat, your footnotes, and then you can see your time remaining per total episode recording. So every episode compounds. If you do four 30-minute episodes, it will add all the way up to 120, episode, uh, 20, 120 minutes and you'll have enough remaining. Make sure you tweak your call settings, which you can see here. So you've got your audio video input just to match the recording so everything syncs up properly. And then when you want to invite your guest, all you need to do is come up to the top right, hit invite, and then invite the person and their email and they'll get a Zencaster link. Just be aware that that does get to go to spam and you probably should just send them the link manually via email instead. Okay, so once your episode is done, you've got here access to your MP3 and movie files. So you can download those and put them into something like CapCut or Premiere Pro and put together your podcast and video very easily so that you can promote, uh, produce your podcast. In, you can do it inside Zencaster using the produce function. The only thing is you have to pay for credits to produce the episode. That is the one drawback, but if you're comfortable with doing in-house editing, through Audacity with your audio or Premiere Pro or CapCut or whatever video software that you use, you can just go ahead and download the files there. So once you have those edited, let's come across to the show. So for example, you have one edited. Edited. I want you to come across your show and upload that audio. You can see here on the cross right, it's uploading that audio. Here's a test audio of mine. Are you a content creator struggling to create long form and short form content because it's too difficult? Beautiful. So we're going to turn that into a podcast episode. So hit finalize and publish, add your photo, your episode title, your description, and you tweak your settings if need to, and then just go ahead and hit publish. For the sake of it, I'm not going to publish this because I actually don't want to turn this into another podcast. If you've got your audio uploaded here, you can take the video and upload that to YouTube and create a video show there. So if you wanted to upload that video to YouTube, just come across to create, upload, select your file, and Bob's your uncle. And then the same thing, filling out the rest of the information and getting your episode live. What's the easiest way to promote your podcast? Well, let me show you. So the first thing you want to do here is copy and paste this episode video link. You're then going to come to this platform called video.ai and sign up for an account. Now, you can see here that I've already used three different videos, but for, for an example state, I'm going to take you through and just upload the file that you have, or you can actually use the link that we copied before. But if you prefer to just upload the video, then you can upload the video that way. I'm then going to show you what it looks like when the episode is uploaded. What video.ai does is create these short form clips that you see across all of social media from people with their podcast. And it's going to do that for you with 75 minutes free. So what you can do is promote one or two of your episodes within the free version. Or if your podcasts are all under 75 minutes for the month, you can use that to promote your podcast. 
So you can see directly above me, it's got eight shorts that it's taken from this episode. And as we cycle down the list, you can see it's got clippable moments from within the podcast using different templates too that you can use to promote your episode on social media. So if you want to then play around with your templates for your social media, just come across to the template section and start building out your own template. And it's going to turn out like this. Sorry, uh, Warriors, really appreciate your time. Okay, that's cringe by me. Um, I uh, mispronounced someone's name in a five-minute episode and it's uh, awkward. Anyway, moving on. Sharing all things that make you happy. It's been an absolute pleasure to have. So you can see the text on screen that you see a lot of people doing across TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts. It has those functions. So you can design your templates however you like. So you can create one that suits your brand. I personally like something so, like this. Lori, uh, Warriors. Or the highlight text on screen. And you can move that around as well. So you can edit and download the video. So you come across, play around with the captions, put them wherever you like. You can change the to highlight the words. So, Laurie, uh, Warriors, really appreciate your time. You can see what I mean. And then you can cut it up, add some elements in if you like, background, tweak it, AI caption. So that that's kind of up for you and to do determine the style that works best for you but i would go ahead and study some of the most popular podcasters out there doing remote podcasts like this using a platform like zencaster or riverside and how they design their clips their captions their style and just mimic that because that's the best way follow what already works and instead of trying to create something new and unique unique you, yeah your content can be new and unique but the layout should fit what social media wants to promote so once you've got your episode and you're happy with it and then just download the video. So come across, 720, download, and your video will export. So once you then all have all of these short form pieces of content from your big episodes, you can then schedule them out organically through your social media platforms. Now remember, if you schedule these out using something like Plan or another social media scheduler, some of those platforms won't like that you're scheduling those videos and won't push them out. But for platforms like Instagram, you can use a scheduler, but for platforms like TikTok, it is preferred that you post them in-house, meaning open up the app on your phone and hit post there. That's gonna get you the most traction. So there you have it. That's how you're gonna start your podcast for free and then use AI tools to market your podcast to get the most organic growth. As a bonus, you can couple that with ChatGPT and get your transcript and just paste that into ChatGPT and ask for a description, some summaries, and then generate a nice heading that is going to be organically searchable using stuff like SEO in the podcast platform. You can also do this for all your titles and shorts across TikTok because that's very much heavily focusing on SEO as well. So thanks for watching this video on how you can promote and market your podcast using free tools such as Zencaster and video.ai. If you have any questions or tools you'd like me to cover or specific examples you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.